Hi, I'm Miss Shelley, and welcome to my science show. In our video on weather and the seasons, we learned about tornadoes. But why don't we try to make one ourselves today? Miss Shelley's Science Show. To make this model, you're going to need a glass jar with a screw on lid, some water, vinegar, dish soap, and then if you want, you could use some glitter or some food coloring, but it's not necessary. Before we begin though, let's pause and take a look at our Ronnie's rule for this experiment. Ronnie says, always be cautious when using glass. If you drop glass, it can break and make sharp pieces that could cut you, and we don't want that to happen. First, you're going to take your glass jar and make sure the lid is off. You're going to fill the jar all the way to the top with water. And then you're going to add just a spoonful of vinegar. I'm adding a spoonful of vinegar so that your tornado is easier to see. Next, you're going to take your dish soap and add a few drops of dish soap. You don't want too much or it's going to be too foamy. And then if you have food coloring or glitter, you can add that last. All right, when you're all set, you're going to screw on your lid. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Now we need to take this model and turn it into a tornado. So what do we know about tornadoes? We know tornadoes are violently rotating columns of air. So how can I make this model work? I need to rotate it. So I'm going to take my jar and carefully rotate it nice and fast until you see a tornado. You can see the glitter spinning around there too. So, what are all the pieces representing? The soap is representing the tornado. The clear water is representing the surrounding air. And then the glitter is representing all the debris that that tornado is picking up. And that's our model tornado in a jar. Why don't you try it yourself and see if you can make your own tornado? I hope to see you next time on another episode of Miss Shelley's Science Show.